welcome to Ace, Ace TV. TV, episode two. two. Now we tried to film episode two, and if you see episode one and a half, you'll see half of what happened to episode two originally. So this is episode two. And today we're actually coming um, from our head's office. This is in our head's office. Shh, she she's not know. here. Shh, but she neither know. do the rest of the staff know we're here because, as you've noticed, yeah. it's getting a little bit of a habit us getting interrupted. So. We promise today, no interruptions. So, last time, last episode, we were discussing about pencil grip, pencil control, and, and activities that have developed um, within our within our classroom. Yeah. Um, and of course, we didn't get to the point of telling you our top tips for no. for, 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 for a good Cindy pencil appeared. Grip. If you haven't seen that, go and watch episode one and a half because it is absolutely hilarious when Cindy appears. Anyway, not the point. Top tips. Top tips. 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 So, Careful. we start the, uh, at the beginning of our year, yeah. um, as, as you will be aware as well, and I'm sure it will go on in your provisions and settings, that actually a lot of our children start in September with already pre-learnt ways of holding a pencil. Yeah. Um, some of them are absolutely brilliant, mm. uh, and others... Mm, mm. It raises the question of, if a child has a pencil grip that works for them, it doesn't cause them pain, um, and they are writing legibly and swiftly, do we correct that pencil grip? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we've come to the conclusion, through what we've read online, that you know we can't see a reason to correct a pencil grip if the, a child is writing well anyway, or you know, colouring or using... And it looks comfortable for them to write yeah, as absolutely. well. Absolutely. From what we've researched online, it's only anecdotal evidence that says that a pencil grip can affect your handwriting, um, you know, as in a poor pencil grip can create poor handwriting. Um, there aren't any that we've found any scientific studies that show that you know no. pencil grip affects handwriting in a way that you must have a specific pencil grip. But if you find that evidence, then um, you know forward it to us because we'd love to yeah, see please, that. Yeah, please, we really would. Um, however, talking to people like occupational therapists that may come in, physiotherapists yeah. that come into school, um, the preferred. Well, look, there's an optimum well, pencil grip, which is a tripod. Is the tripod pencil grip? And, and you know, you, most people probably realise it's an optimum pencil grip because you can buy those. Three sided, yeah. I forgot what a triangle was for a second. Did you notice that? Triangular pencil. Thanks very much. A tri <laughs> triangular pencil for those three fingers, so your tripod pencil grip. But having said that, Mrs. Curtis holds her pencil slightly differently, don't you, Mrs. Curtis? And yes, her in. And so, Mark. In fact, I do. I don't. I'm calling her Mrs. Curtis. Well, it's better well I you am BC. actually left handed. So, well. um, and, and, and left handers are certainly not awkward, in fact, I think we are most creative. I actually hold my pen um, with almost three fingers underneath. I, I suppose it is a kind of tripod, but I actually rest my, rest my, my pen, or my writing utensil, actually on my third finger. Um, so mine is a little bit different, but I have to say, I have very, very neat handwriting. And, she does it way um, better than mine. And I certainly don't suffer any pain. So um, I just feel that for us as practitioners, it's best to support a comfortable writing mm. grip, but also ensuring that their, 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 their mark making, their letter formation is legible, and that they're not suffering any pain or discomfort. So it all starts from gross motor skills. We know that. Really important start. You know, and whilst we understand that some of the children won't be developmentally ready or have that strength you know we have to support them to be writing mm -hmm. you know we have to get them that way uh, so one of the things we do uh, this is um, photos that we took this year with our current cohort we created sort of like a progression yeah, as such. stages we felt towards that optimum um, pencil grip but we've talked to the children about how their pencil grip may be slightly different and how that's okay as long as they're not hurting when they're writing you know, and that they're writing with mm. speed. Mm. Um, you so know, within reason, obviously. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, us, us as staff, uh, what we do is we actually have a look 
and we kind of assess where the children are. So this was our spread. This was our spread, you know, when the children came Back in in September. September. And we use this as a display in our classroom for the adults so that if we have children here, we use their photos or their names and write them on. So the adults can look at that and go, OK, so this is how they're holding their pencil grip. What kind of activities do I need to be tailoring when they're out in the provision and um, we're focusing on gross motor skills or fine motor skills, the children at different stages will need different things. So we use this progression to help. And, and also looking at how they can add a varying level of skills into the vision to best meet all the needs of the children mm. across this spread. So we wanted to show you some top tips. Yes. Um, our children have just, we've been, you know, focusing a lot more on writing, as you know, super sentences. And one of the things we noticed that, you know, as we were doing more write, more writing. But also, let me just say, the children wanted to come and do more writing. Yeah, They've absolutely. been asking about absolutely. it and wanting to have a go. But um, some were just lacking that little bit of confidence because they felt they couldn't hold the pencils. I had one particular boy who, who just kept asking me, well, where do my fingers go? Do you know? And he was, he was ready to hold a pencil. He had that strength. He just didn't quite know what he was doing, you know, with his hands. And we've... I saw a post on ABC Does, mm -hmm. um, uh, and Alistair Bryce Clegg had seen in another school how they'd suggested that um, you hold something in the fingers that you're tucking away, the ones that you're not using. And so what we found was, I found this in my cupboard, um, and uh, my little friend tucked it over his thumb, this key ring, because I think he liked the security of it, he tucked it over his thumb, tucked his two fingers around it, and then he knew they're my three fingers that I can use for my pencil grip. And it doesn't just have to be a key ring. We found equally um, just some, some little characters we had knocking around, yeah. uh, or even some really nice, funky little erasers, little rubbers, or it could even be little Lego people, or a magic tissue. A magic writing tissue. And of course this is really good for actually being able to really s uh, screw up into a very tiny ball and it will actually mould um, into, yeah. into the shape of the child's hand, making it quite comfortable for when they write. Really? But one of our teaching assistants, it's been right there underneath our noses all this time, suggested when we were doing super sentences, well, you know when they take the lid off and they pop it on the top, uh, or, and usually it pings off, or they take the lid off and it oh. falls on the floor. Or they do that thing where you spend like 10 minutes when you're supposed to be doing something really important. <laughs> go, I've lost the pen lid, right, everyone, everyone stand, stand up, up. Oh, we can't find a pen lid, and then it falls out of someone's dress. Well, actually, why don't we just use the resources we've got? So the children hold their pen and they actually tuck the lid um, into, those, the, into those fingers and then they have their three fingers ready to write. That way, the lid doesn't get lost and we have fabulous mm. writing. So just some ideas that if your children are ready for writing, that you might think, mm, their pencil grip, I just want to support them with that, mm. they, those tips might help you. Please don't misunderstand us and suggest that we are forcing our children to write when they're not ready. Absolutely not. Well, absolutely not. Right, thank you very much for listening and hopefully... Yeah, thank you. Please let us know what works best for you. Yeah. We'd really like to know. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.